one. Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee Time Podcast. Today we have a very uh, entangling podcast for you. We're going to focus on the entanglement of Jada and Will and the red top table discussion that we've all seen that's trending. Usually the Coffee Time crew really don't care about trending celebrity topics such as who's Kim Kardashian dating nowadays or who Kanye West is, is rapping about or who Eminem is dissing. But this is so viral and just in a little way painful and funny and just awkward. We have to talk about it. So, once again, I bring you my good boy, Justin Avalos. Let's get into it, homie. What's up, man? What's good, homie? What's good? <laughs> What's good? Dude, this entanglement is, is quite funny, right? It, it's so awkward, and it, it's such a refreshing thing because of all the shit we've been talking about in the previous podcast. It's good to just, you know, go back to, like, a lighter subject. Yeah, like something that we can just have fun talking about. It, it is pretty horrible. I felt for my boy Will here. This entire conversation, I could see the pain in his eyes. Hey, from Bro, a light skin to a light skin, dude. Hurt. Yes, dude. It was it was quite um oh it was just ugh, you know? Ugh. Like there's no words like the entire interview was just so awkward, like just watching it, I just felt like he was going to jump at the table and just beat the shit out of her. Dude, it, it, I didn't feel like there was malice intent. It was just like, wow, dude, you can see that this guy is truly hurt. Like, yeah, he did like, not want to be there, but she forced the hand in mm-hmm. acting in this entanglement. So he had to, uh, and since he's a part, you know, they're a partnership, he has to deal with the um, the repercussions of it. So yeah, I, for sure. I, I got four sound bites I want to go through through the podcast today and get okay. me and your commentary on it. And hopefully the uh, audience commentary in the comment section. Okay, you ready? All right, sounds good. First sound bite. This is all the stuff that's going on in the press. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm-hmm. that went... Cray cray. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media, the headlines. We specifically never said anything. Anything. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said Mm -hmm. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. So coming to the table was like we just felt like it got to the point where you got to say something. Yeah, and, you know? and and to stop that cycle. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. All right. Uh, this is, for me, an incredible soundbite. Oh, your camera went gone. Okay, you're back. You're back. That was weird. But yeah, yeah no, th- this is an incredible soundbite for me because it shows that two mega celebrities, superstars, are as human as anyone can be. And, like, they realize that, hey, the media is is a wheel is a chaos wheel that keeps spinning unless you just face it straight on. Mm-hmm. And this is like, for me, like I have never seen this from a celebrity except for like, you know, when Kevin Hart got caught up with the yeah. prostitute in uh, Vegas yeah, that yeah. was trying to extort him. He, and he was like, fuck it. I'm not going to pay you all that money. I'm just going to come out straight, deal with it and deal with the repercussions. Cause I failed my fans and my family. And this is kind of what the Jada and will things going at. Mm-hmm. Like they're just like, before we allow the media and TMZ to just make all these false narratives, we're gonna come. We're gonna sit down here and we're just going to talk about it in a very scripted. Because if you guys haven't watched it, it's pretty. I think it's pretty scripted, honestly. <laughs> but they did it so carefully. I was like, all right, all right, I get it. I'll nod you to that. What would you yeah. think about that? Well, I mean. Whenever you say it's scripted, like, I kind of understand because with the climate nowadays, like, you got to be very careful on what you say because everything could be twisted. And because my question, whenever this all came out, the very first time it was came out, whenever uh, August had done that interview and talked about it, I was wondering, I was like, why haven't they said anything? Like, why hasn't Will or Jada, like, spoken out and said, you know, this is a real story, yada, yada. And why did they let it get to where the rumor mill started and then they finally, I don't want to say they wanted to uh, make, I don't want to say publicize it because they're doing it on a network on Facebook that, you know, they have this 
contract with to release this type of media. So I'm not sure if they're waiting so they can, you know, get royalties from it or whatever, you know, make it to where it's a bigger thing for them. But it's just kind of weird. Like, if something came out like that, my first reaction would be like, okay, we're going to come out with a statement. Let's have it, you know, scripted out the way they did it during this uh, Red Table read and get ahead of it before it blew up the way it did. You know, that was my initial reaction with that. Yeah, I think the um, the media, like what he said is like there was allegations state uh, or statements saying that Will said this and Jada said this. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that forced their hand to actually acknowledge this, um, the, the rumor mill and everything like that. Yeah. And, you know, it's not just rumor. It's fact. You know, she admits to the entanglement. It's such <laughs> a funny word, dude. Just say you were fucking. Like, like yeah. we're grown here, right? Like, we are grown people, grown individuals. We all know what what you're trying to say, and you're trying to sound polite entanglement. No, fuck that. Just go dirty with it. Say yeah. You guys were having sex while supposedly they were separated at the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's because, I mean, whenever she uses... She's being very PC with her words, which I understand why in a sense, but at the same time, like, this is supposed to be an area where you could just come out and say what you really want to say, like, without the fear of repercussion, whatever. So for her to kind of, like, hold back everything and give a very political answer, it... It kind of felt very uh, disingenuine to me, like, because she's talking to her husband. Like, in that sense, like, it should be, like, we're talking to each other, not we're trying to talk to our fans about whatever. It should be, like, a discussion, like, what we have, me and you. We don't try being political with each other. Oh, being you talk to me like I'm your husband? Is yeah, that yeah. what you're trying to say? Yeah, you know you're the bro, and I'm the hoe. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, like, you know, the way we conversate, like, it's very natural. It's Even if it's a topic that we may not agree on or it's something that between us, like, if we were ever to have, like, a falling out and have a discussion about it, we wouldn't try, like, minding our P's and Q's. We'd be like, look, this is what I felt. This is this. Instead of trying to be very PC about it, trying to really, like, not even give a direct answer, but you know, kind of avoiding the question with another, like, reason, this and that. Like, I feel like she's really tiptoeing whenever she talks. It goes back to, like, that old saying, if you have a choice to be kind or right or correct, you should always be kind. But in this situation where it's involving a, a, um, um, what am I trying to say? An action that's going to hurt a relationship, you Mm -hmm. should just be honest. Don't try to be kind. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you're like, yeah, we had an entanglement four times a week. No, we had sex four times a week. Just, exactly. Just put it out there. All right. Before we get into that entanglement word, let's get into the second sound sound bite. Okay. Let's do it. Yes, absolutely. For whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay. So let's start with. I guess about. Four and a half years ago, yeah, started a, there. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, mm-hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm-hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm-hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help, mm-hmm. you know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing when I, when... Um, when Aug first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really you know? really sick. Yeah. And all right, so with that, um, it shows that Will knew of Aug's presence mm-hmm. and of the friendship, and he was okay with it. This is where I really go towards Will's side, because you know, in, in a relationship, you have to trust your partner, and if you trust your partner, have those friends of if, if the guy's attractive or not. He's acknowledging that, like, hey, I noticed him. He was friends with you. You guys became close friends. He was sick, and you wanted our family to help him. Mm-hmm. So it's really bad when he uses that family word. He's like, our family to help him. Like that means Will and Jada, not just Jada. Mm-hmm. So he saw it as like a group assisting someone like welcome into the family and everything and jada kind of just violated that yeah what do you think about that yeah well because from what i read a little bit i i i'm not i might be wrong this is just from what i read but i thought august was actually 
friends with the son. Um, I, I forget his name. His son. Uh, Hello? No, no, that's the daughter. The that's son. the daughter? Oh, Jaden, Jaden. Jaden. Yeah, so, because that's how I thought he was introduced, that they were actually friends, and then, you know, whenever he was going through his issues, his sickness, uh, so to speak, that's whenever it came to, like, the mom's attention, and then the family wanted to help because it was a friend of their son's. So that's whenever – that's what I actually heard. I may be wrong. Um, of course, I want to do more research on that, but that's what I was told. Like, yeah, this was actually a friend of Jaden's that was always around the Smiths, and whenever he was going through his uh, issues, they, of course, wanted to help out. But, yeah, you know, I do see, you know, whenever he uses the whole, you know, us as a family wanting to help and everything like that, and then she definitely took it another direction like regardless of whether they were having the issues or you know whatever like that's someone that you let into your family's lives like more than you know oh this is just our son's friend or this is just my friend like this is someone that we invited into our home and helped and all this and for them to like take it to that level of an entanglement like (laughs) you know yeah you know you definitely feel for will you know whatever he may have done I know later, I don't know if this can be a sound clip or not, but later in the interview they talk about, like, him doing, like, some shady shit too. Like, you know, regardless of that, like, this is such a public thing now and the fact that you let this person to your family, like, it just just hits differently. Like, you were trying to help this individual and for them to betray your trust that way. Yeah, it it does hit a little differently. Let's get into the third sound clip. And keep the uh, momentum going on this entanglement conversation. <laughs> yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm-hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there... You know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement Mm -hmm. with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, Mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in in that particular Uh, uh, circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what August... All right, so... I like what she said there. I like that she clears Will's name because, like, the real, mm-hmm. the big trending topic here was, like, oh, Will Smith is giving Jada permission to go out and mess around. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was consensual in the in the relationship spectrum, so she was allowed to open up her, uh, you know, her, her legs into that entanglement, you know? <laughs> so, um, but what I find interesting is, like, that they, um, they, um, they say that they were separated basically Mm -hmm. indefinitely and all that. But I feel like when Will says, what did you do Jada in that time? I felt like how he said it and I'm probably interpreting this wrong, that there were still some talks like, you know, you like that roller coaster ride when you're going, you know, Oh, we broke up. We're here, but we broke up, but we're kind of still together. We still have that agreement that space is just space, but we're not going to fuck anyone. We're not going to actually flirt with anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still t- you're still calling them and telling them good night and everything. I felt like maybe there's some some missing details of what this space was. Yeah, you for know? sure. Yeah, because whenever uh, it started, like from what I'm just hearing from these sound clips, like it sounds like he didn't actually want the space. Like he was because whenever you look at Will Smith in the past, like you know he's all on Jada, like, he's presenting her like yeah. she's the biggest prize he's ever won, like, the most perfect person, the way he talks about her. My queen. Yeah, his queen. So whenever, he, you know, they're saying, you know, we were separated, like, I think there was stuff that was already probably going on behind the scenes to where, like, taking someone that was on that pedestal to the point where, like, you know, I was done with you. Like, I want to know what happened prior to that that led to all this, because from when the way he's speaking and the way he's acting whenever she's talking about this, like, you could see the hurt. Because if it was, like, both of them doing shit, he'd, you know, just be chilling, like, yeah, you know, I did this too, I did that too. You know, especially whenever they're like, oh, 
Will and Jada are in this open marriage thing, it wouldn't be affecting them the way we're seeing it in this yeah. video and hearing it in the clip. So I feel like a lot of it's like, you know, he's doing everything he can to keep on to this relationship, giving her the space that she probably needs, giving uh, them that separation that they both probably need so she can figure himself, herself out and he could, you know, do what he needs to do in order to make the relationship work. So I think that's what's kind of kind of happened was, you know, she was like, oh, you know, I'm not feeling happy. And he's like, well, what do you need me to do? And she came up with this concept like, hey, maybe we just need to, like, back up for a bit. We'll still be committed to each other, but I think we need to feel, you know, our, like ourselves in order for us to come back together. And I think him being the husband that I think he might be, you know, seeing the way he's like, oh, this is my queen. This is, you know, the most amazing person. I feel like he's in that state where, like, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I can to keep my marriage, even if it means giving her that space that she needs. Yeah. Well, they state that, and uh, we'll uh, listen to the final clip right here, okay? All right. You know, I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you've gotten <laughs> me back. Mm. I think you've... <laughs> Mm. I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. but, um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was our last little sound clip, uh, sound bite from the Red Top uh, interview with Jada and Will Smith about their encounter and entanglement with Og. Um, yeah, so... Right there, it just states that basically there's some they're trying to be personable with everyone. They're like, hey, if you're in a relationship or in a marriage, 25 plus years, you gotta walk through shit. You know, you have to walk through shit and everything to to get to the meadow, to get to the beautiful flower garden, and everything like mm -hmm. that. There's gonna be trials, tribulations. There's gonna be things that's basically going to break you, but you're gonna be more nimble because you have a partner. And sometimes it works out, but even superstars, people that you, that are perceived as, you know, Ken and the Barbie, that everything's perfect. They're making it personal. Like, hey, understand that we're human and, we, you know, ride together, die together, bad marriage for life. Like, I think that sums up everything. But Will saying that he will get her back and she's stating that, nah, you've got me back. I wonder what that is saying. What yeah, is that well, saying, Justin? Uh, there was a rumor that him and uh, Margot Robbie, the one that played Harley Quinn, actually had an entanglement as well. Uh, mm. Because, you know, they starred in two different movies. They starred in uh, Focus, where they're the con artists, and then, of course, the Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. So, you know, they worked together for a while, and there was rumors that they had, you know, a little thing going on on the side. So I'm not sure if that's what she's referencing or anything in the past. But whenever... Because it's okay to, like, joke about this. Like, I think that's how they want us to wrap it up is, like, you know, we know what happened. We've talked about it already without having to talk to the audience or whatever. So they're able to joke with it. But it's just so weird, like, because it's such a weird, like, thing to hear, like, oh, I'm going to get you back. And, like, he's like, no, I'm serious. And I'm just looking, I was like, ooh, that was kind of awkward. Like, yeah, it was like, I know hey, you're going to get a laugh, serious. but, like, whoa, like. It's kind of weird to kind of just spring up. So, you know, hopefully they do well. You know, I, I do hope that they can find their way back to each other, you know, through all this. They could still stay together. But the other way I feel is, like, if he is, like, done with her ass, like, if he's done with her, I think that the only thing that can be keeping her him with her is the fact that they're in this limelight. Because if he does leave in, like, the whole open marriage and the fact that he probably did stuff in the past, he's going to look like an asshole. So I feel like he has to kind of stay in order to um, not get that bad rep on him to where, like, oh, he did support her, this and that. It's kind of like a, if you ever saw Gone Girl, like, at the end, he has to stay with that girl. Cause oh, that she, was crazy, yeah. Yeah, like, he had to stay with her. Even I read though, the book. 
I yeah. Mean, but I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I think if that's the case, then that's why he's staying. Or if it's the case, like, you know, she, we both messed up. This one just somehow got public enough. Like, if Margot Robbie had came out at the same time saying the same stuff, I think it'd be the same result to where, like, they have this talk and they're like, you know, yes, we've both messed up. We need to learn from it. You know, we're just going to grow stronger from here because, you know, we're going through this together. It's not Will Smith saying, oh, F her. She could be on her own. No, he's been with her during this whole thing. You know, they're going through this stuff together, going out together and, like, doing this talk together. It wasn't really, like, forced. I think it was more like, you know what, we've had the discussion. We know we've both done this. Let's clear the air. Let's tell our side of the story so it doesn't get spun out of control, and let's do this together instead of you doing it on your own. Yeah, I think they handled it well, but I do feel like Will's Will was he, his hand was forced into this interview because <laughs> yeah. just how uncomfortable he looked. Like, man, he could win a fucking uh, what is it an Emmy? What's the acting things? I don't know. Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. He can win a fucking Oscar for this damn interview, man. Because I was like, Pursuit of Happiness, Will is back, bro, with those tears, <laughs> homie. Oh, man, I was tearing up. I was like, I can't do this right now. I'm hurt from him. And then how black Twitter and, like, the Facebook comedians just created generated all these memes. I'm like, oh, this is bad. Yeah, because. This is so bad. Because you can kind of tell in different parts of the interview, like, He's trying to, like, be very straightforward, like, what happened? What did you do? Then what did you do? And she kind of, like, backtracks and, like, goes back to what she originally said and, like, mm-hmm. kind of goes around it. And I feel like he was really just trying to get, like, what happened? Okay, yeah. how did this happen? Like, he's trying to get straight to the point, but her, she wants to be, like, okay. Like, again, you know, kind of being PC about her responses instead yeah. of, being like, you know, hey, this happened. Like, you know, we were together. We got close because of this. And one thing led to another, and then this... Instead, it was just more like a broad spectrum of like, hey, you know, we were just in an entanglement and in a relationship. I feel like they've talked about this before in Behind Closed Doors. Many years, they said four four to five years that it happened. So that happened in 2015, late 2014 maybe. So I feel like they've already... Because it's like, like later in the interview, that sound, the sound clips doesn't reveal is they say that there's no secrets and... They've, mm-hmm. they've never had secrets between them. They've always worked uh, worked to get through things together. And I feel like they talked about this, and Will felt like he, she was not given him full details. And then when Aug came out with the story explaining this, mm-hmm. this was his moment to be like, damn it, I have to relive this, but I'm going to get exactly what I want now, the full story. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, he didn't get it because the word entanglement came out of somewhere <laughs> that old. That's what yeah. she's like. That's what I said. An entanglement, girl. Just say that you were fucking. Like, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I lost you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, uh, there it goes. Yeah. Sorry there about that, folks. I have a timer on it to apparently that I can't turn off. So, but yeah, you know, um, yeah. It's just I. I wish that when she did this, when she decided, you know what, we're gonna. Make this public. We're gonna do this at the red table reading. I really wish she was, cause I feel like she really, really wasn't genuine. Like I think she was just giving the answer that the audience wanted to hear, not what Will wanted to hear. Oh, a hundred percent. That's yeah, why I said it, it was very scripted. It wasn't personal, you know. Like none of it was personal, and like that's why he started making jokes at the end, cause I think in his mind he was like, you know what? If you're not gonna give me the story, then why am I gonna take this seriously? I think he was super uncomfortable, and he had to like make those jokes to make the environment mm-hmm. comfortable for him. To get yeah, back for him. So like, I feel like if cam if there were hidden cameras and they had those conversations, the conversation would be completely different. Honestly, yeah. 100%. and I and again, you know, I hope that they could come through with this. You know, I I never want to see like these celebrity couples that have been together for so long break up. I mean, you know, they're real people too, and you know, any place where like you have the broken home like you gotta choose between family and all that stuff it's always a bad thing so hopefully they come through with it but you know again i just wish i i again just don't feel like she was genuine i feel like she was just tiptoeing around everything instead of being straight up with her husband of 25 years well in a world ridden of COVID 19 black lives matters cancel culture 
Me Too movements and everything else. The Washington Redskins now need to change their name. All oh yeah, they're the, the Warriors now. Yeah, the, oh, they're the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see the the headline, but uh, <laughs> it was nice to like commentate on something that was like not as serious, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, for sure. But uh, before we end it, man, have you ever been in an entanglement, <laughs> you know, in high school or like before you met Maria? Uh, I was pretty faithful, actually. Like, I think the only time was with one of my exes. Well, well no, like, I has, mean, has a girl ever had an entanglement? You know, do you have an entangled story for us? Uh, I mean, I've been cheated on. Oh, you know what? Here's a good one. So when I was living in Vegas, the girl I actually lost my virginity to. Shout out to Selena, what's up? If you're watching, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> what's good, you look Selena? like shit now. Just, uh, just giving you a heads up. You look like shit. Anyway. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck her. Anyway, so um, dated her, uh, lost my virginity to her, and then she went to pretty much bang five different dudes, including one of my best friends. Uh, the same week. <laughs> In the same couple of days, actually. Oh, wow. That they took me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Did not know that about her. Even one of my best, my other best friend, he was like, yeah, I dated her, and she's a hoe, bro. Like, I try to warn you. I'm like, oh, oh, fuck. Like, that's the biggest one, really. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to cap off this episode of <laughs> Oh, you didn't let me do it. You ain't going to talk about I don't have. Okay. I don't think I have an intent. Like, so... I didn't date a lot, like, in high school. I had one high school sweetheart, and we had a ton of drama. Being in, a, like, a, a small town, everyone knows who's fucking everyone, right? Mm-hmm. So there's, there's going to be rumors that, oh, my God, Luther was doing this at this party. I'm like, dude, I never even fucking partied. What are you talking about? <laughs> or she was doing this. So nothing, no concrete entanglement. I'm sure, you know, that she did some entanglements, but I'm not with her, so I don't care. I didn't learn anything from it. But, um, yeah, like, there's nothing. Like, <laughs> I wish I had a good story for you, buddy, but I don't. Uh, I mean, I got other crazy stories, but that's for a different time. We could talk different about Korea time. one day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Korea. <was laughs> we could so talk funny. about Korea one time. <laughs> Maybe when we have everyone for, like, some sailor stories. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But all right, guys, that was Coffee Time. Look, on Coffee Time, we strongly believe you are what you listen to. And if you listen to Coffee Time, you're great. Okay. Come back each Thursday for more coffee and more time with me and Justin or a guest. We don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Now, if you're tied up, you're driving and you don't have time for the video because we put all our podcasts on YouTube. You can go to any major platform, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and a plethora of others. Go listen to us, man, and thank you for supporting us. Till next time, remember, you are what you listen to.